Welcome back to the channel guys. Finally getting to the end of this project. Um, so here I've got the Whirly Gig in the workshop testing it out with the fan to see how everything functions and everything's working really well. So at this point I was ready to go ahead and uh, assemble everything. So I made a tower similar to my larger windmill, uh, actually half scale, and everything mounted and looks really good. So here you can see I've got all the covers on at this point. Uh, everything's enclosed, lubricated, ready to go. Um, all the arms, everything worked out really well. Uh, the blades, the turbine came out really good. And here's a view from the other side. You can see the now he's got a workpiece in the vise that he's drilling. And you know, as his hand turns, the spindle goes up and down. So here we go. Finally, we've got some wind on the turbine blades, and everything spins. Everything runs really well. Uh, low breeze, everything works. And it also pivots into the wind, you know, whatever direction the wind's coming from. So let's see here. Yep, we've got. A little bit more wind here. You can see everything's functioning. The one arm's turning the crank. The other arm, he's working the spindle and drilling the holes. So the inspiration for the project came from looking at different whirly gig designs, but one that really stood out was the new Yankee workshop with Norm Abram. Uh, he did one where he made a a whirly gig representing his workshop with him um, cutting wood on a table saw. So this is one of the more interesting ones that I saw and I was looking or you know looking at ideas of how I could do something similar to represent my workshop. So I went to work and I did a lot of CAD modeling, looked at different ideas and a lot of different concepts, a lot of different iterations to make everything work, to get the arm movements and everything for, uh, you know, what you see here is a person running a bridge port, uh, drilling some holes and turning the crank on the table. So after I've got all the drawings done, I went to work and there was a lot of milling, uh, you know, machining work in general, boring, drilling, tapping, um, and some, some slitting saw work. So after I was able to get all that done, um, and everything went pretty well, just took a long time to get all the parts completed. So I had all the parts completed here and obviously I purchased the bearings and gears and some of the other uh, parts that could be purchased and uh, went ahead with the assembly. So if you're interested there are other videos on the channel here that show some of the detail here of how I assembled it and made some of these parts. Um, so take a look at those. So again, thank you for watching. It looks like everything's done. Um, definitely stay tuned to the channel. Uh, subscribe because there will be a lot more uh, interesting projects coming up. So if you're interested in these kinds of things, definitely stay tuned to the channel and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys soon.